The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to talk a little bit about the uh, 135 pattern. Uh, 1987, I was giving a speech in Chicago, and uh, Bill Longstreet was there. He's the son of Roy Longstreet. Roy was the legendary soybean trader. I mean, he was the best there was out of Clayton, Missouri. He was very successful uh, f uh, soybean uh, farmer. Uh, with the also they also raise cattle there on the ranch, but uh, they uh, were really involved with this one three five pattern. And I gave a lecture on it, and Bill was there, and he said I'd really appreciate if you didn't bring this pattern to, uh, you know, to the public. And I said why? I gave this similar presentation. And he said why is it? This is what our, this is what our family lives by. Is this one three five pattern? And then of course he he wasn't familiar with the ratios. What I did was to show him you know, the, the similarity of the mathematics of this, and that's all I was doing. And he said, why don't you come to dinner with my dad and I tonight? And, of course, when one of the greatest traders of all times asked you not to do something until the family uh, uh, moved on, then I said, you betcha, I wouldn't do it. I said, is it okay if I mention the one three five pattern without telling you what it is, just to see if I get any interest? And uh, he said, sure. He said, I have no problem with that. He said, just don't show it until we're gone. And I said, okay, so... That's how it started. But anyway, what I wanted to show you here, you can see on the left here is a three drive to a top pattern, which is different than the one three five pattern. You see on the one three five pattern, you're trading in the direction of the trend. In it you're with the with the three drive to a top, you're picking the top. Drive one, drive two, drive three. They both have the same amount of risk, which is very small, but that's what you want to start to do. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take a look here at this 135 pattern and just to show you how it breaks down. The first thing you want to do is to find that you're in a downtrend. Okay, now this is the E-mini S&P. Uh, this was done a few years ago, uh, back in 2016 when it was trading at 2166. You can see here you're in a downtrend. That's the first thing you want to do is to find the downtrend. The second thing you want to do is to check if there's harmony in the downtrend. In other words, your, there's your first drive, there's your lower drive, there's your lower drive. This is the one, three, five pattern. That's the second step. Now, the third step you want to do is to check out the ratios. Now, these are absolutely perfect ratios because it's out of the instant program, but the difference between 8.8 8 and 7.86 is incidental for trading purposes. I mean, you're talking just a few points in the S&P. So you have time and price together matching up. And when you have that, then you have a valid three, uh, one, three, five pattern. Now, the next thing you want to do, as you can see, there's your one, there's your three, and there's your five. So your entry is, remember, this is a four-hour chart. So each one of these bars is four hours. So this is not a small pattern. Now, the first day down close from 0.5 is when you enter. That would be right here. Okay, and then after you've entered, you have several things to look for. You have your objectives. Your first objective will you take 0.3 because it's higher than 0.1, and you multiply what that 1.27 ex, uh, expansion will be of this move right here, and then you also do the 1.618 expansion, and that gives you your second objective. So that's uh, that's basically what that pattern is really all about. I double check. I've got some examples in here, but I don't want to go. Here's a here's a treasury bond. Uh, this is after the top was in. This is when we became incredibly bearish. This is when they tried to tell us that uh, you know we were looking at uh, negative interest rates all across. I mean, we had many countries that were negative interest rate peoples and aficionados. And I I said. If this one works, I said, I'm going to have to get me a job flipping burgers at McDonald's because uh, this doesn't make any sense. But there's your 135 
on the daily, just just absolutely perfect. And then the, you can see there's a 382 retracement. But if you did the expansion, your profit objectives would have been down in this area right here. Here's one on the Treasury bonds. Now, this was the same thing that we were looking at right just back there. Only all I did was I brought it into a four-hour chart so you could see it on the four-hour versus the daily. So as you can see here, there's your one, three, and your five. There's your objective. There's your second objective. It went below it, but that's you don't care about that. You're going to make your first objective, and then you make your second objective. That's what you're trying to do when you're lining these up uh, on your one, three, five pattern. So we're going to take a look at what else I have in here because I haven't seen it. Here's a one, three, five on the upside. This is also Treasury bonds. The same thing. And there's your one, three, five. There's your 78% retracement. There's your 61% retracement. This is ideal if you're, you know, trading with the trend. There's your one, three, five, and then your profit. This is a, <laughs> I don't know how I got this one in here, but uh, this is not part of the one, three, five. Oh yes, there is too. Uh, it's right here, but it, it. The trouble is the ratios are not. They're not perfect on this. You know, folks. I think this slide is wrong. I'm gonna have to check this out of here because it has nothing to do with the one, three, five pattern. Um, you know what? I don't think this one does either. Oh, yes, it does here because there you have the one, three, five right here, and then you have another one, three, five right here. Yes, it does. It's longer term, but you know that's what we're paying attention to. Same thing here. When you're looking at these ratios, we're wa watching the same type of thing. This is looking at all the different ratios. Now, this is a three drive to a top pattern. There's a the the lunar eclipse. This is the New York. Wow, this was, goes back a long time. Seven years when they were still looking at the New York Stock Exchange Index and it was still trading and there was a lunar eclipse, which was a high. And of course, now this is this is a, a three drive one, drive two, drive three, and then you have the butterfly pattern lining up in there. But that's basically the difference between the one, three, five and the uh, the uh, uh, three drive to a top pattern. That's what you're basically uh, looking at. So. That's what I wanted to get to. Now, what I want to do now is to get down to some live markets so we can see what's going on. We had a couple of real interesting ones today. Now, that's the E-mini. It's still near the high. We'll just draw this up on a smaller time frame today. You see it's had some pretty good swings. If you like, there's your numbers here so far today. You came all the way down to 64 after the report. There's the report came in, and you went up, and you made a, an A, B, C, D, and then what, of course, you did – you make another A, B, C, D to the downside, goes right down to just about the exact 61% retracement, and now we're rallying back uh, to the 61% retracement. The important thing is, folks, this high right here, from my opinion, I, I really believe these cycles, the fact that we took out this high, that should not have happened. The market should have been coming down into this December 13th low that we talked about. In other words, it it's could be violating that cycle sequence. Uh, Shane, Smolian will, Shane Smolian will be uh, watching this like a hawk because that should not have happened. Now, you see here, we made the high here, and then it went one, two, three, four, five, six days. It didn't go anywhere. The most it could drop was 60 handles. And I, let's show this up. You'll be able to see it. Get it up here. You Hold on one second. We'll, be, we'll, be, we'll take a break here. We'll be right back. Ready, Tigers? Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! Oh. It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, since the uh, uh, the break here, I wanted to double check to see if the cash S&P also took the high out from December the uh, 1st, okay? And it did. Okay, now, next one I, I double checked was to take a look at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, the NASDAQ did not do that. If we look at this on a four-hour chart, you'll see the NASDAQ. We'll just move this over a little bit. And it looks like it's made a 78% retracement from the high. And there, no, yep, there it is, made the 78. Also completed the ABCD pattern right here from that level. Uh, you know, maybe I'm nitpicking, but, you know, this is what I try to do is to be as accurate as I possibly can. There's your ABCD uh, in the NASDAQ. So that completed. And then I also wanted to take a look at the Dow Jones. Didn't even, didn't take it out. Missed it by uh, 36, 36. Missed it by, oh, didn't miss it by much. Well, yeah, missed it by 100 points. So look at this on the four hour. You'll see that it did not take that out either, but. Uh, well, pretty close though. You see, it didn't quite, didn't quite take it out. So it doesn't. Maybe now really doesn't mean much because it's only 15 stocks. And then here's a Russell is just still setting at the 61% retracement, pretty much spot on. And it didn't take it out. Uh, well, it took it out here, but we'll we'll just have to wait and see. We got to wait until the 13th, which is uh, next Wednesday. Uh, yep, yeah, next Wednesday, and then we're going to find out. We got Norm Winsky is going to be our guest. On Monday, on Friday, we're going to have Bill Meridian. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to have Jeff Huge. And on Thursday, uh, we have Joe DiNapoli scheduled. So hopefully we got some good guests coming in to keep you entertained as we look through here. So let's get back to some of these other markets for today. 
Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the gold market. This is one that was very interesting to us to this, this morning because we brought the daily chart up here, and I have to show you what happened. I said to the folks here that we should have really strong support here at 2018. But I said, if you'll notice here, this low right here was 2026. But we had no rally. You see this little tiny three-day rally? I said there's a very strong probability the gold is going to get to 2018. Okay? So what I did was I said you probably should buy it there. You don't have to risk very much. And you don't have some profit in it at some time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the smaller time frame. And I just wanted to show you uh, what happened. There is 2018. You can see it right there. Now, when it hit 2018, it rallied $12 up to 2031. But the way it did it, you can see this A, B, C, D pattern coming in here. And you'll never guess what that was, folks. That was nothing else than a 382. And then look at this. The market goes down and it drops another $20 uh, down here to uh, 2010. And now it's just going sideways. So this has been broken. This tells us that gold is still going lower. The reason why I'm bringing this up is we have a very good friend. You've heard him on the news here or on our program before. Jeff from uh, New Jersey was on. And he sent me this before uh, while it was happening. I'm ha oh, dear. I got all this stuff here out of the way here. Oh, my goodness, I got too many clocks on the wall. Okay, here's what Jeff sent me, and he said, look at this. There there was the pattern that we were looking at. We bought it right there. The low was 2018.50. Okay, and then we rallied up here. Beautiful A, B, C, D pattern. There's your 382 just absolutely perfectly. But what was happening when it hit was 2018. I went into my Ensign program, and this was at 727 in the morning. And you can see here, this is when it hit. 2018 the first time these uh, you can see these are the bids all the way through here see 2027 20, 11 that was a three minute time period where my limit minders were going beep 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 and you can see it was 18 17 17 18 there was a lot of buying in there so that told me that yep there's some people in there really to buy it and so the risk there was just a few dollars i only made a couple hundred well i made about 600 bucks on it but the problem was that once it started down after hitting that 382 uh, that was not a good sign because when you're up 13 dollars on something and it turns around you've got to say okay what am i going to do because i was risking five dollars on the trade originally and so i didn't want to get involved with anything more on that okay let's take a look at another one that we were watching that was uh, very, very nice for us. And I had several people say, you have to be absolutely nuts to do this trade. And, and you know what? They were probably right, but for a different reason. There is the cattle that we were looking at. I said to buy the cattle at 62.40. I said put a stop at 61.40. If you did that, you're now up uh, for, so you're up $1,600, $1,700 in that but there's there's what it should have done okay that's basically the bottom line of what you're looking for okay so that's all I can do I, I can't do anything more than that and that's all I do do folks all I do is a B C D and simple time counts you know to keep it uh, just as simple you know as I as I possibly can okay now what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a couple others here because we have a lot of things happening today. One of these has been in the soybeans. We want to get it up here to show you. There's the soybeans. We had a crop report coming in today, and I said watch for a 382 retracement here to probably be a uh, seller. There's your 382 misses by one penny, and you can see now it's down 30 cents from its high. Remember the buy that we were looking for is coming in at around 26 uh, 75 here uh yeah there it is at uh 1282 that won't be probably until monday because this market closes in about 30 minutes but there was your 382 retracement uh let's see if there was an abcd present at the same time uh there was one but it extended quite a bit so uh, yeah there's your a b c d extended quite a bit so it went up to the level here, and then boom, down she came. There's your 382 right there, folks. You can see it's a quarter cent 
off of the, uh, and that's where my order was sitting, right there, and uh, dismissed it. But that's okay. Anyway, I got a, I got some of these others that were that were working out okay. So anyway, that's what we were watching in the soybeans. Uh, the report came out. You could see, boom, down she comes. And remember, this is where you don't try to catch a falling safe. So if you're looking at a pattern here, you want to see. Look how quickly we go through. 3A2, 50%, 61. Now we're setting right at the 78% level. And it's actually held here for the last half hour. So maybe that does mean something. But boy, when you see things like this, stay out of Dodge, folks. Just, you know, go someplace else because it's just uh, it's just too wild here. So let's uh, remind ourselves to see what the timing on this is. We got 30 some seconds. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I'd like to mention to everybody, we're in the holiday season. Uh, please show your spirit, folks. Help your neighbors, whatever it takes. Give a little bit, and I think you'll be far, far better off. Let's take a break here. 877-927-6648, and we'll be right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to talk about Treasury bonds now. This is the Treasury bond market going back the last several years. I'd like to show you, I put this on every newsletter that I've ever sent out here since that time. There's a beautiful 135 pattern. The symmetry is absolutely perfect from 1, 3, and 5. Each of the ratios absolutely perfect. And of course, you can see the big move down. This 0.5 right here was very important. This was March of 2022. I was in London giving a seminar with Mr. Tom Hugard. We were trading live. And uh, this happened to be a Friday into a report. It made a slightly higher high, and we sold it, and it was down a couple of points by the end of the day. And a young man approached me. He was running a big hedge fund out of Dubai. And uh, he said, I uh, hate to tell you this. He says, but you're going to be wrong on this one. And I said, hey, I'm wrong on a lot of them. And I said, but I know that if it goes below 150, and it was around 156 at the time, I said, I won't be wrong. And he said, well, I think you're going to be wrong because we're looking at zero interest rates. And he was still going back to 2021 20, when the top, when the, bock, uh, the bonds made a high. He was still living off of that. And I don't know what happened to him after that point. But you can see here how perfect the bonds have been during that time. Look, look at this, boys and girls, if you like technical analysis. There's your A, B, C, D pattern right here. You rally up to your 382 retracement here. You can see this rally right here. If you just measure, we've done this so many times. You can see they're almost perfect, just 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 nearly as perfect as can be. And if you put this over here, you'll see we're getting really ready to get up and possibly make another move uh, as high as 123 in the bonds. But what's happened here, just get this up here so we can see it a little better. What we want to do is we want to look at the bonds from this level right here over the past year, because here again, there it was, March again. You see how March is an important month for the bonds? Well, they certainly was. And it will be again this year, too. But this is what we're going to look at. We're going to move this around just a little bit like this so we can see it a little better. And so all we've done so far is we've made a 50% retracement to the tick of that move right there. Okay, that's what we're looking at. Now, the bonds rallied from 107 up to one, basically 120, we'll call it 120. So they've rallied 13, 13 points, okay? From this low right here, we were at 131. You add 13 to that, that takes you to 143, and they rallied to 145. So it would rally, this one rallied 15 points. This one, they're very close, but they're very, very close. But we hit that exact number on the 50%, looking at this. Uh, on the, uh, I think it was the daily we were watching. Yep, there it is, right there. There's your, there's your 50% retracement, okay. And there's your number that we had way back here, which was at 134. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this section right here to see what we're doing in the bond market right now. So we're just going to open this up so we can see it. Now we had a little bit of a pullback here. This is only one, two, three day pullback, correct? Now, one of the things that we do know is if a market's really strong, it's only going to correct to you know where, the 0.382, and there it is. It hits it once, twice, makes a look at this. It makes a slightly lower low and then takes off, and it goes up again, makes a little. There's a one, two, three-day pullback here. Let's see what it did off the previous low. This one looks like it makes the 50%. Yeah, this one goes to the 50%, and then we keep going higher. But after this pattern is in, that tells us that we're probably going to get up to this level right up into this, this level right here. That's what it usually is going to tell us, okay? So what I was doing at that time, I was looking at the four-hour chart, and this number right here is the number that I was looking at. You can see that ABCD pattern right here just two days ago. I thought this little ABC would blow it up so we can see it better. There's your ABCD pattern right there. I sold it there. It backed off to here, and then boom, we went all the way up to your 120, uh, 22, and now it's backed off. Now what we have to see is this is a pretty good sell-off because look how much we backed off here. We backed off two points. Let's go back and look the last time it backed off two points. 
Where did it do? It came to pretty good support. Now, what we want to do is we want to see if that support happened to be a 382 off of the major low. I'm just guessing because it looks like it's probably spot on. It ain't there yet, but boy, it's within. Uh, wow, if that's the low today, uh, that's pretty good. But the, that the low today has been 17. This should have been 13. So that might be enough to make the bonds go higher. All I know is below here tells us that we're going to be going down a whole lot more because remember we're coming off of 107, not this level here, 114. The 382 on this whole thing, folks. Look at this. There's your low in the bonds. Okay, your 382 on the bonds comes here at 115. You're going to tell me someone's going to stay long through all of that? I think not. But then we're going to find out if they have any chutzpah or not. That's the main thing. But the major thing that we're watching here is the fact that this is a 50%, 1.618 expansion, and that's major, major resistance for the bonds. And you can see yesterday we made a little almost match the high, and then a report came out today right in here. There's a report came out, and boom, down she dropped about a full point. Not anymore, not even making it to the 382. So that's uh, what we're paying attention to here uh, in the bonds uh, at this particular time. Okay, now let's move on over here to one other thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is in the crude oil. Let me check and see how the old clock on the wall is running. We're okay with time. So we'll get the crude oil up because this was another one that was very interesting from a short-term perspective. Okay, there's the 382. You can see that. That had a, a nice profit. We, I, I recommend them selling it 08, and it made almost uh, $1,000. Of course, we know that when you make that much, you want to lock something in. If you're looking at these markets, just measure from your low up to your high. And the, where did it go to? It went right to the 382, saying it's probably going to go a little bit higher, which it did. And when it did that, remember, this is a, you know, we're looking at several hours in here. This is five hours, folks. So you make this high, and look what happens. You make that nice little pattern we call the, as Mark would call it, the old ABCD, measures to uh, 7140. The high was uh, 7160, so that's $200. That's an ABCD pattern. If you didn't want to sell it on the ABCD, wait till it gets back below the 382. That would have made you a nice profit. And, of course, where it stopped, you know, I'm doing this in secondary, you know, in secondary. But, look, it stopped exactly at the 78% level. So, to me, crude oil might have made some type of a bottom in here. Because what I'm expecting now, because it held this, that's telling me that we're probably going to be looking like something like this over the next day. We've got the weekend coming up. But there's your drive one, drive two, drive three. And there it is right there. That's going to 72, only a buck a barrel. But that's where it is. So we're going to take a break here. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, it's an early Christmas present. If you want to unwrap it, that's okay. Even you could keep it unwrapped. It doesn't make any difference. This is from my good friend, John Jameson. Uh, he knows more about the Bitcoin business than anybody I've ever met. But again, my knowledge of Bitcoin, you could write on the head of a pen in boldface type. So I'm just giving you some information. He is telling me that the YouTubers that are out there this is coined, which is, I think, uh, another one of these uh, exchanges or something, but it's a good way of looking at a Bitcoin. Uh, he says that they are so bullish. He says it's uh, when it was at 69,000, he said they were really bullish. He said now, he said they're talking a quarter of a million uh, per coin and stuff like that. He said it's just the bullishness is so rampant. That it's just unbelievable. Now, just looking at this, and I know, you know, trust me again, I, uh, you know, I'll just draw the pattern in. There's your AB, there's your CD leg right up in here. Now, you want to be a buyer up in here, I want to wish you the best of luck. Let's take a look at it on the weekly. I'm just, hey, look, if you're in these things, I hope you make a million bucks, but take a look at this puppy, folks. <laughs> this thing, <laughs> this is in the midst of. <laughs> Stop it, Larry. Okay, there's where we are right now, and uh, we're within uh, 17 bucks of a 382. So just be careful if you're in the cryptos. If Gary Gensler comes out and says, "Hey, we're not going to do anything," you're going to see something correct about 50, 60 percent in a matter of seconds. Here is natural gas. Now, th I'm bringing it to your attention. Now, this is an eight-minute chart, and I look at this each day because you have some real. Not that I trade all of them. But when I see, remember, this is each one of these is, is eight minutes, so that's pretty good. I'm looking for really clear. Let me get this up here so you can see it. Gosh darn, Larry, hold on a minute. There we go. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right there. I'm looking for that. Now, this distance, okay, that's $800. Now, there's nothing in here. You see that? But you have another one right here. Bang, bang, bang. This is quite a bit. Here's a really nice one. Look, this took several hours, two hours to make each one of these. And there's your A, the B, C, D. We'll just draw it on the old Gartley tool here with a little luck. And I am certainly lucky. Let's get up here. I am really lucky, folks. I'm just blessed. There's your 61% retracement. And there's your another A, B, C, D right up here at this level right here. 
Okay, you don't have to risk more than three or four bucks, which is three or four hundred dollars. Excellent trading vehicle, folks. It really is. You ought to pay attention to it. If you're learning to practice with these patterns, you can't do anything with this. This is in the middle of the night. There's nothing going on. But when the market's opening pre-market, you're going to get some nice little swings. And it works pretty good. Is it 100 percent? Nope. I save that for only family and friends, and they haven't spoken to me in years. <laughs> That's not true. But the main thing is, is that it does work, but it doesn't work all the time. Nothing works all the time, okay? All right, let's move over to one other thing that I wanted to mention. That is the chart of Apple. I get more comments between Apple and also uh, Tesla. Those are the two that I wanted to mention today. Here's, We'll take a quick look here at Apple on the daily. I don't know if we've hit 200 yet. Oh, we're getting close, but we're up again today. It's off to the races. We're certainly going to be... Looking at the old high, it looks like the old high here was at 190, uh, uh, 198, and we're 195 and change, so it's still going up. So we're going to pay really close attention. What's different here, folks, is that this should have been coming down into this right here. This is a this is a perfect example of stocks going up when they should be coming down into this level of the 13th. That's what that whole program was about. So the day of the 13th is going to be really big. That's a Wednesday. The uh, full moon comes in, uh, excuse me, the new moon comes in on the 12th uh, of December. Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? We're only, uh, holy cow, we're only 17 days away from Christmas. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, now we're going to take a look at Tesla. Get it up here and take a quick look here. Tesla starts with a T. Oh, there's another. There, here, wait, here's another Bitcoin thing. Let's just check and see if it's doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, this one's. This one's going to Gaga land. Look, there's the same thing that uh, I don't know what Bitto means. It's got to be a pro share. Oh, it's a pro share. So this is mimicking. Uh, I don't know why there's a big gap in here. Well, there's gaps everywhere. So, But there were, this is where we are right here. Uh, boy, I tell you, if I could short it, I would. And I'm not going to. But anyway, there's the ABCD. And we're there right now. So let's just uh, let's see how good Johnny is on this one. He's pretty good. So. Uh, I'll, I'll put my nickel with him any day of the week. Okay, that's that one. Get it out of the way. I want to get Tesla up here to let the folks take a quick look at it. But Tesla starts with a T. Let's get here, Tesla. Okay, and there's where we are right now. And it's in the, it's in doing nothing. It's in the middle of a very tight trading range. It doesn't look bearish, but it you know it's not crazy bullish. It does. It has more bullishness right now than bearishness. But this is still oh. Dear, this might be a 135 pattern, folks. Let's just double check it. I see some symmetry here. Step one, to find a downtrend. There's it right there. We're going to draw it across like this, okay? Step two, see if there's any harmony between highs and lows, or double highs. Okay, high, high, high. And that looks like it might have been it right here, but we exceeded it right here, so that means it's broken. So that is not a one to point. It's really tough here because... This is where the 135 would have come in right here, and it went above it a little bit. Now it's here, but you know, either way, if I had to do one thing or another, I, I'd be looking to sell this as opposed to buy it, mainly because it's in a downtrend. It's weaker than the rest of the market, which is, you know, whether that means much or not, we'll have to wait and see. But this is very important that we got to that level. This last re re rally that we had here in the Tesla, you see it went. There's a 618, went above it for a little bit, and look, we, wow, look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six days out of the last 14 days, it's went right up to this resistance at 246, and the high today was 245.27, so this has got a lot of resistance at this level right here. It's a weaker than market stock right now, okay? Looking at this on the oh, this has got the the splits in it, so you can't. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to do those splits, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right, let's move on to one other thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is the potential upside here uh, in the S and P here over the next few days. Okay, so we got a weekend coming up, and then we got that big new moon coming in on the 13th. So this is where we are. Let's go to an hourly chart. We'll be able to see this a little better because we had a couple of big swings here. Ah, this is what we want to see. Okay, we'll move this over like this. Okay, here's the last 10 days. This is the last 10 days of what we're watching. 
I think what I'll do here, I got a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to clean everything out. There's the last 10 days. There's the 29th. There's the 30th. There's our big high day that we were expecting. A, B, C, D we had a nice pullback. Did not make the A, B, C, D on the downside. Missed it by quite a bit. But here's where we are now, folks. Over the next 10 days, there we're gonna. Well, what happened here? There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg. There's your C leg right here. So we're making an A, B, C, D. This is there's two of them here. A, B, C, D right there is that one right there at. Uh, 11 but we've got one bigger than that and that's this one right here and that's going to take you up to this level uh, let me draw it in right we'll be right back i'll get it correct bear with me Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted this chart here, the mini 4623. By the way, we're switching over uh, to the uh, March, which is trading... Uh, substantially higher i think it's around 46 45 or something like that so there's a big uh, uh switch in the, the the value of that uh, contagion or contango whatever whatever it happens to be i'll end the show here with a little story from the drexel days uh, when you worked for drexel burnham uh, we had a wonderful hanukkah and a uh, ball during december 
party atmosphere, uh, and uh, we always uh, were required to go to the, either the prison or the orphanage to give give gifts out and stuff. And my da- both daughters, they were uh, eight and nine at the time, and they wanted to go, and I didn't want to take them, but I did. I took them down there, and when they saw the poverty that these little kids lived through, it changed their life forever. Uh, no more Christmas present. We get one present, and that's it. They were not big, large presents under the tree. They rather give their time, and they're still doing it to this day, which makes me very, very happy. But that's one thing that you did at Drexel is you shared the wealth. It was not required. It was expected, and it was uh, got to be habit, and it was wonderful to see the things that they could do to help some of these families that literally have not even a toy and sometimes not even enough food to eat. So if you can help somebody over the holidays, folks, do it because that's what – that's what the Christmas spirit or Hanukkah spirit, whatever you want to call about, it's all about. Because if you live every day in an attitude of gratitude, you're going to be all right because uh, you've been blessed to live a long time. I was watching one of my favorite shows, The Unexplained, with uh, uh, William Shatner. He's 92. My God, I couldn't believe it. He's uh, the older than me by uh, by uh, nine years. And I said, oh, my God, look how he's still going strong. and still He certainly doesn't need the money, but you can know that he enjoys it. But uh, that's uh, that's what you want to try to do is to help someone. You'll be better off for it and everybody else will too. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. And we'll see you on the green side of the grass on Monday. 